On Tuesday the 13th of February 2018, here's another update from the Force of 13th Australia Oceania channel on a tropical cyclone Gita and I'm uh, going for a Cat 5 but severe cyclone on the Australian scale. And here's some uh, material that I've uh, lifted off uh, the Twitter social platform over the last uh, couple of hours. Uh, the credits are at the bottom of the screen. They are the uh, accounts that have posted to the platform. And unfortunately the news isn't good. Over in Tonga, their uh, Parliament House has been uh, destroyed and 75% of the buildings have been uh, destroyed. New Zealand authorities are now monitoring very closely uh, the developing uh, scene uh, flowing from Gita and the Foreign Affairs Minister for that country has um, promised $540,000 uh, in assistance, mainly uh, water supplies. Force 13 will continue to bring updated information and for me, uh, I will be uh, increasing the frequency of the updates. I think Nathan is looking at free hourly updates. I'll be doing another update on the uh, main channel around 16 to 1700 hours uh, Queensland time. Here's a look at the latest NOAA floaters. The eye has reduced in overall size and it's around 10 nautical miles. And the following information has been uh, extracted from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's uh, current uh, update. However, Guinness Fury tropical cyclone hits uh, Tonga and there are now fears for parts of Fiji. This is according to a report in the New Zealand Herald at present. Cyclone described as the strongest to hit Tonga in its history. Some estimates 75% of homes in the capital have been destroyed. Fresh water power supplies are out in many areas. New Zealand Defence Force planes, emergency response teams are already on standby. Here's the latest JTWC track and look at the cone of uncertainty. It is now, I think, over the magical 160 degree east line and it's still a key item which uh, relates to the timing of the curve. But Nathan and I both agree that it's tracking west northwest, located 319 nautical miles southeast of Suva. Fiji and had tracked west at 15 knots over the last six hours. I would like to see the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre increase their coverage to three hourly reports, but they're part of the US Navy's uh, Operation Enhanced Infrared Satellite Imagery. Uh, depicts a small, less than 10 nautical mile diameter ragged eye surrounded by deep convective eyewall that has maintained consistent structure cloud top temperatures in the past six hours microwave satellite imagery supports this position and reveals the border area deep convection in the northwestern semi circle
Upper level analysis reveals that the system is in an area of moderate to strong 20 to 25 knot vertical wind shear offset by strong polewood equatorward outflow, particularly over the north and western semicircle. This outflow, in addition to warm 29, 28, 29 Celsius sea surface temperature, is currently allowing tropical cyclone 09P to maintain intensity, convective structure. The cyclone is currently tracking westward under the steering influence of a subtropical ridge to the south. And we'll continue to track to the west through the next 24 hours after which it will most likely begin to round the northwestern periphery of the steering ridge and track to the southwest. The system has plateaued at 125 knots and uh, the JTWC is uh, indicating that it is weakening but the uh, sea surface temperature is warmer, especially in that west, northwest area. Here's a look at the upper level divergence, and the divergence is very strong uh, to the east southeast or southeast of where Gita is currently located. Now, the red is unfavourable, the green is favourable, yellow is neutral, but look at the amount of wind shear to Gita's south. The 850 millibar vorticity and I'm not sure whether this 98P is still on the radar. Now we have a quick look at the EPS track for guidance and another look at the life of a tropical cyclone in Gita up to earlier today. And as mentioned, we will continue to bring updated information. And I think uh, by the time this one uh, gets on the channel, Nathan will have one on the main channel. We appreciate your support and welcome to those who have recently linked to the AU channel. And we're here to provide a service on the weather, especially with uh, Gita and we could have one up in the Northern Territory, Western Australia border. Stay tuned. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.